Eli, Manitoba, along Trans Canada Highway. I'm with a couple buddies, a friend of mine, Juno Malapad. Uh, you've seen him before on videos, the guy that runs a lot. He's uh, actually uh, doing a run across Manitoba. So he left uh, Sunday, May 1st at 7 in the morning uh, from the Ontario border and he's running every day about 70 kilometers a day. So it'd be a 490 kilometer trek across Manitoba. And uh, he's doing that just to raise awareness for uh, mental health issues. Um, he's supporting seven different organizations and uh, I'll have to list them on there, uh, but Canadian Mental Health uh, is, is one that I I remember now, but um, all the others. Um, he ran yesterday through uh, Winnipeg. Fortunately, I wasn't able to be with them since the beginning because of COVID. I only tested negative yesterday, so I came last night and met with them here, and I'm uh, gonna start with them this morning and um, stick around with them all the way until Saturday. Uh, so he's doing this in seven days, 70 kilometers a day, 490 uh, kilometers total. I'll show you that. There's the RV. Three guys in there. Uh, Juno, obviously. Um, his wingman is Jin Lee, another good runner who's running uh, every day, the whole distance with him, just to support him, um, keep him safe along the highway, keep him sane. And then uh, Gary Eng, uh, my Cairo, Dr. Eng. He's uh, driving the bus and he's cooking meals, filling water bottles, things like that. And um, we also have Adam Moore. And uh, Adam was there for the first three days and then yesterday had to uh, stay in the city to attend to some business and uh, some family uh, matters. So I'm not sure if we're going to see him again for the rest of the week. but. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, he showed up again. All right, May 4th, leaving Eli Ford. All right, so uh, I'm 10K out, 10.2 kilometers out. I'm gonna run back along the highway, meet up with them, then run back here where we're parked both vehicles there on uh, road 19 west got my flashy vest just so people don't hit me hopefully all right let's get it going May the fourth be with you, Juno. May the fourth. That's right, man. Fourth be with you. And we got Jin and Harley in the back there. Still May 4th. I'm uh, in Portage of the Prairie right now. Just parked at the Tim Hortons. I'm running back to meet them. So this is uh, leg four for them. Uh, I missed leg three because I had to drive up to Austin. Go check out where we're gonna spend the night. And then I joined up with them again. They're having lunch, so now they're running into Portage 
and uh, I'm gonna go meet them halfway. Nothing's easy. Nothing's if it was easy. easy, everyone could do it. That's right. <laughs> but it's worth it. All right, leg four for me. We're outside Portage of Prairie, running back towards Portage. We just left them at Tim Hortons in Portage, so they've got uh, three, four kilometers to exit the city. And I've got about five and change, six to meet them. So it's gonna be a very late day because we're already around 5.30 in the afternoon. So we got 30 kilometers left. So to go to Austin, everybody's hurting. We'll see how that goes. Potato processing plant. It smells like French fries. It smells really, really good. All right, let's just hope that I didn't screw up here. I'm on this uh, side road, trying to connect back to Highway One. There, I just hope I can make it through that portion there, and it's not too muddy. Just want to stay off the main highway as long as possible. So, here goes. Usually uh, it's like uh, the uh, floodway in Winnipeg, it's just a little creek in the middle. Still, there's still lots of room. If it does go up any higher. Looking strong, looking strong. Got some tunes going. I'm parked about uh, 10k from Austin, so I'm running back now to meet Junal and Jin. Right now they're running their 60th, uh, sixth leg today, so they're over 50k done today, plus uh, three days at 70, so 260 kilometers on their legs. So. Yeah, it's taking a little longer. Although, once we get within a couple kilometers of the vans and the RV, Junal just picks it up. He's still running like six minute kilometer. Jin and I have to hold him back. The lure of the food. Yeah. So I got a nice side road still, as you could probably see behind me and now ahead of me. So that really helps if we're not right on the Trans Canada Highway. They're right there. They missed the turn off to the uh, side road here. Gravel road goes all the way to the RV. This is the last leg of the day to take them to 70 kilometers. Uh, we've got about eight and a half kilometers to go, somewhere around there. And uh, and then we're uh, spending the night at the Manitoba Agricultural Museum in uh, Austin, Manitoba. Doing good, it's cooling off. Showing 13 on my uh, thermometer. Feels a little cooler than that with the sunset, so. Just gonna follow them 
here with the headlight when it gets dark. Gary's already gone to uh, our campsite. He's gonna start dinner. They're gonna barbecue steaks and pierogies tonight, so. One kilometer left. There we go. Day number four is done, 70 kilometers. Good job, guys. 280 kilometers total. Outstanding. Good morning. May 5th. We're in uh, Austin, Manitoba. This is the uh, Agricultural Museum. See the, the rigs out there. They have a an arena, stampede ground. Really, really interesting the museum. There's lots and lots of machinery. Little train station, homesteaders village out there. Nice to wake up here this morning. All right, May 5th. It's day five for them, day two for me. And uh, first leg of the morning. I'm just coming in to meet them here. About uh, two and a half kilometers from where Gary and I parked. So it'll be a 5K out and back type thing for me this morning. I wasn't gonna run the first leg, but uh, these guys are already hurting. First leg, we're uh, an hour and a half into the run and they're Barely have eight kilometers done, so you can tell it's taking its toll. But they're doing all right. They're the running warriors coming in. All right, Brandon, 69 kilometers. I know we're definitely not going to Regina. Second leg of the day. We just parked back there. And uh, I'm gonna go and meet them. I had to run an errand for them and then I took my sweet time. Dr. Gary worked on my calves, my Achilles. So, thanks a lot, Gary. Good seeing you, Owen. Hey, hey, hey. Good seeing you, Chuck. Getting close to Carberry. I can just imagine how these guys are feeling right now. They want to keep going, and every time they start, their legs are already pretty shot, pretty tired. Still have a long ways to go. So. Good on you, Jin and uh, Juno. I'm not at that point in my life where I could make that kind of commitment and run 490 kilometers in seven days. Not yet. Maybe not ever. <laughs> we'll see. They are coming up the hill. Right on. 
starting to get worried. Back on the tarmac for the final kilometer and change. Number five for them. They're running with uh, Brienne, a friend from uh, from Brandon. She drove down and uh, parked the last uh, spot and uh, ran one of the legs at 10k, and she's running the second 10k now with them. Really, really appreciated that she would come and give her time and. Nice to talk to somebody different, different stories. So I'm sure Juno and Jin are very, very happy about that. And this is the end of leg number five. And from right to left, we have Brianne, Juno, Jin, and Michelle who just joined the group. She just uh, went and met them about a kilometer away. Brianne has done two legs with them, so she's reaching 20 kilometers. This is the end of uh, leg six, May 5th. So they have a 10K left to, towards Brandon. And I'm gonna give uh, Brianne and Michelle a ride back to their cars and hopefully meet up with these guys before it gets dark. Strong, everybody looks strong. <laughs> Right on. So in my mind, I want to do a somersault. Strong finish. <laughs> All right, this is the last leg, uh, leg seven of uh, day number five, May 5th. We're uh, going to Brandon. This leg is, uh, I believe it's a 12 kilometer leg for them to reach 70. Fortunately, we don't have a service road. Uh, it might be one a little further up, but right now we're along the highway, so I'm just following them. And Gary's gone off to Brandon to his friend's place to set up, get ready for these guys to show up. So we'll keep them safe. It's getting darker. They're still looking very strong. Another friend of uh, Juno's uh, showed up. She's running for a little bit. I guess they just uh, stopped at an intersection and uh, saw us coming. Here we are. My watch says 69.6 kilometers. We are closing in. 70 kilometer mark. We will always go a little bit further because, as you know, any runner out there knows that Strava can shortchange the distance. So 69.7 kilometers. Jin is flying. And Elaine is gliding. And I'm happy to be here. Find an organization or all of them. And if you can, donate to them because they're doing the hard work of 
Penny. I'm out here doing what I love with the people who work in the mental health industry. They're doing what they love also. But everybody knows there's not enough resources to keep that going. My watch reads 69.98. As I said, we're just gonna go a little bit further to 70.1. And then we will call it the day. We are strong. We are happy to be here. Tell you what, this is it. We're done. We can walk. <laughs> We're going to just walk it out a little bit. And I'm not going to turn my watch off just yet. Morning everyone, May 6th. So day six of uh, Malapad's Marathon. We're just west of Brandon. Parked, uh, the van's parked 10K west of Brandon. And uh, I don't know if it's visible on the camera, but it's a big dip in a valley and then a hill on the other side. So the guys are coming. I'm gonna go and try to meet them. Everybody's in good spirits this morning. It was very late, late, late night last night. Went to bed uh, at uh, midnight 45, 12.45 this morning, I guess. We were uh, hosted by uh, Glenn and Leah, Leah uh, friends of uh, Gary. And uh, amazing, amazing hosts. We show up super late at their house. They offered us a shower and uh, cooked us an amazing meal. Chicken breast, steak, salad, pasta, cheesecake for dessert. Like we got stuffed. It was, uh, it was very welcomed at the end of the day. Today we should have Adam coming back from the city. So we'll see him in an hour or so. And uh, I guess I think we have a, a camera crew showing up. It'll be interesting. Looks like it's gonna be another gorgeous day. Sunny, starting to warm up already, so. All right, let's get cracking. Legends out there, you can see their silhouette. I'm gonna reach them here, a little over 5k. Good morning, legends! Good morning. It's good to be alive. Good to be alive. Good to be alive. Only Jin Lee would walk part of, run part of Manitoba in his sock feet. Crazy guy.
right, this is the end of leg two of day six, Friday. leg three today I'm running leg two for me but it's leg three for them I'm getting closer to Verdon it was a very long break uh, so it's gonna make it very very late tonight but it was a longer break Juno did a live with the organizations representing today and you know time to get food and fix up taping and stuff like that so it's uh it's a big undertaking a lot of work good job guys good Let's job go. sorry man i missed you there <laughs> i didn't want to hit you Last leg of day six, May 6th. Amazing. They're gonna reach 420 kilometers here in uh, about uh, five, six kilometers to go. And uh, that puts us in uh, Verdun, Manitoba for the night. And then uh, straight shot tomorrow to the Saskatchewan border. Still look very strong. I'll be going just a little further, um, 70 kilometers to seal the deal. Our pace is five minutes and 55 seconds per kilometer. That's it, they're at 70 kilometers on day six. They just go an extra 100 meters or so just to make sure that uh, Strava doesn't cheat them. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Strong, strong, strong. Seventy point zero eight. Good morning, everyone. May 7th, day seven of Malapad's Marathon. We're in uh, Verdun, Manitoba, and uh, we just spent the night at uh, one of Gary's friends, uh, Scott. His uh, beautiful place. He's got an acreage, like three acres, just uh, south uh, end of Verdun. And uh, it was amazing, he got us all hooked up and uh you know nice hot shower it was pretty good it's six in the morning these guys are almost ready 
and uh, we're just waiting for the camera crew to show up and then we're gonna head out onto the highway and uh, reposition these guys so they have their 70k uh, uh, route last leg in to uh, the Saskatchewan border today. All right, so we're on the road for day seven, going to meet Junal and Jin. Their first, uh, first leg of the morning and uh, big surprise for them. Dan showed up, so he's gonna come and meet them and get some running with these guys all day. That's gonna be really, really good for them. Anybody that shows up to come and keep them company is uh, amazing, so. We got Adam in the back there, so. Hopefully we meet them around the 5K mark, then run back in, that'll be good. Beautiful morning, sunny. May not be like that all day, but we'll take it for now. All right, we're meeting these guys at uh, almost the six and a half K mark from the vehicles. And these guys are seeing Dan now for the first time. Nice. How's it going, Jen? How's it going? Oh, yeah. <laughs> looking strong, looking strong. <laughs> Finishing leg one of day seven. All right, day seven, the last day. We're at the Manitoba Welcome Center. So we're probably just about six kilometers from the, uh, the Saskatchewan welcome sign. So these guys are coming in. We're just gonna go uh, out and meet them roughly halfway run back into here with them and then the last leg is uh, gonna be a short one and we got a bunch of friends who joined up Alain and Patricia behind me there and then up front we've got Reed uh, Gary and Adam are running out to meet them so we'll be just behind them the group going to meet Juno Good job, good job, guys. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Good job. Good job. We're getting close. We're getting there. There's 10 of us running with them right now. Still going at a good clip. Alright, I'm just shy of 3k out from the Saskatchewan border and uh, we're meeting up with the group here for the final little stretch. It's, uh, let me just check time here. So it's coming up to 8 o'clock in the evening in 3 minutes. It's been a good day, you know. This guy clocked 70 kilometers today. And uh, they uh, started at 7.30 this morning, so 12 and a half hours after, you know, now this is day seven, but six days of 70 kilometers a day. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. And uh, when he runs, he runs at a really good clip, hard to follow. So it's a run walk a bit now. This last stretch was a little over 5K and uh, doing really good. Still good. There's the group. Hey. Here's the man. The men.
journey crossing Manitoba in seven days 490 kilometers we just finished that's it